about how to transpose using logic and uh, re-export your stems for the use in main stage. Well, there is another way to do that that uh, may turn out to actually be a much more preferable way to do a quick transpose on your um, <clears throat> on your stems that you're using in main stage. Uh, you can actually do this right inside of main stage, and it's really quick. And you can not only transpose your um, your multi tracks on the fly, you can also change the tempo of them. Um, so there's there's obviously a really good advantage of doing it in st inside of main stage and not inside of logic because it's much quicker. You don't have to re-export your stems. You can literally uh, bump up and down the key of individual tracks right on the fly, right in main stage, and it does a really, really good job of doing it. Um, now there is one reason why you may not want to choose to do it inside a main stage, and that is when you do enter into that mode, it does affect how those tracks respond. So if you're, um, for instance, utilizing markers and you're wanting to be able to loop sections of the song or jump forward, backward in inside of the map while in live, while you're performing the song live, uh, that functionality kind of breaks down quite a bit when you utilize this other. So it's kind of an either or kind of thing. Either you're going to want to have native stems in each key if you want to have the flexibility of moving forward, backward in the song uh, on the fly or looping a section or looping an intro. Or if you're basically just running the song start to finish and you want to be able to change the key, you can do it right inside of uh, main stage. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So um, I archive all my songs in, co in individual concerts for each song. Uh, and that just helps when I call it up later from a patch, I'll, I'll actually, you know, save the song and then I'll actually save the patch. And this, these patches actually point to the archived versions of the songs. And I cover that in other videos. But uh, I'm going to go into one of my archived songs and uh, I'm going to change the key of Love Came Down, uh, which is down here. So I'm going to open this uh, concert up in main stage. Okay, and as you can see, now what's great about st storing an individual song as a concert level is you can have multiple um, patches, or you can have as many arrangements for that song on the patch level as you. So it's a good way of actually not only archiving the song, but inside of one concert container of Love Came Down, you can have multiple keys, arrangements, whatever. That's real handy um, for for storing them. As you can see, I already changed. I have a, a version of this in B and one in G. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start over again just so you can sh I can show you how I did that. So I deleted the one in G and that's basically what I want to do is I want to transpose this one down to G so that we can have a female singer lead it. Um, so what I'm going to do first thing is uh, I'm going to deep I'm going to duplicate um, this patch and the easiest way to do that is you go under edit and go duplicate right here or as you can see there is a, a key command for that Apple D and that'll duplicate that patch and I just basically have a copy of it and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this one to G alright now the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is um, we need to put the every instance of the playback plugin which is over here on the right we need to put them into uh, what's called sync mode and then what it does is it syncs each of those instances to the patch attributes which are right here under the attributes tab um, and that way you've got master tempo here and also with inside the plugin you've got transposing capabilities so we're gonna need, we're gonna need to um, slave each of these playback instances to to the master tempo as you can see right now the master tempo is 130 but we're going to need to change that. We're going to need to go ahead and um, click that in and actually manually put in the tempo of 130. Okay. All right. So that's the first step. But we haven't synced these. Uh, we haven't synced these.
playback instances yet. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> For those of you who have seen previous videos, um, I've been working on my template, and this is a little different modification of what you've seen in the past. And once I kind of finalize this, I might push this out as a download. But in the meantime, um, I'm still kind of working with it. But it still has the basic functions of, of previous versions of my template, which you guys have access to. Um, and uh, if you need access to it, uh, just uh, preview the very first video that I posted on MainStage. And there's a link to not only a MainStage template, but there's also a link to uh, a guide library and a click track library, which can come in hand handy for um, you guys building your own stems. But anyway, let's go into playback here. And so the very first stem that we have here is the click. We can see that that's the click track from those transients there. So we don't need to transpose that, but we will need to turn the sync on. We will need to turn on the sync. And the way that we do that is on the bottom left here. We just click, turn that on. And we're going to need to do that across the board. So to be able to select all those other instances of playback, we're just going to go down here. We're going to go to guide, and we're going to turn sync on and we're just going down the road here drums sync on now those three stems that we just worked with none of those need to be transposed so I haven't done any transposing with them um, but we do need to sync them so that they they fire off and they're all linked to the same thing now the first track that we have here the bass now we actually are going to need to transpose that so as before we're going to go ahead and turn that sync on but then over here in the pitch area, we can actually pitch this up or down. Now with scents or semis, you've got semitones. You can go up and down any any given semitones. And so if I'm going from B to G, that's actually four semitones down. And we're going to hold that down and just mouse it down to minus four. So there we go. We've, we've transposed it. But now we need to do one other thing. Uh, you have different ways of... there's there's um, different ways to flex that transpose and so for, for a uh, for a bass guitar you can either go with something like polyphonic or rhythmic either one should work pretty good with a bass so I'm gonna click rhythmic and then again going down to the next stem electric guitar one we're gonna turn sync on we're gonna mark that down to minus four and now for electric guitar one I'm probably gonna flex that to polyphonic so that's a polyphonic instrument and we got a couple more here and we're gonna pitch this down to minus four as well this is also a guitar so we're gonna select polyphonic and finally We've got the BGV track, which you're probably not going to use the BGV track transposed down um, in a live setting, but you might need it for reference or rehearsal or something. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to polyphonic. And the last track is the enhancement track. Sync it on. Down to minus four and flex mode polyphonic okay so we're pretty much done with that and um, I would love to play it for you but I don't think it would come through the sound system for you to be able to hear but that's basically the process now if I were to hit play on this we would actually now hear this in the new key and that's pretty much all that needs to be done and then what I do is, you know, from before in previous videos, you know that once I've got my concert saved of my arrangements, I can now go and export these as a patch, each individual patches as a patch. And what that does is it, when I'm creating a set for a worship set or whatever, I can call up the individual patch without having to open up this concert to grab the patch out of the concert. So it's, it's the process of not only saving the concert with your song in it, but saving the individual patches because that's what you'll use to import to your to your um, worship session and uh, again that's all covered in previous videos but so the last thing I would do here is after saving the concert is go in here under this menu go to save patch 
and I have a separate folder for my songs that I do for my M songs, which is my concerts. Now that terminology might might be a little confusing for you. I just uh, recommend that you dive into the mechanics of main stage so that concerts and patches terminology makes sense to you. But um, that's basically it, and you'll save your songs, uh, your, your patches in here. Um, but that's how you transpose. It's real simple, and it's a real effective, quick way. And and like I said before, you could change this tempo. So if you if you wanted to bump down your tempo a few clicks, you could do that as well. It works really, really well. But again, keep in mind that if you need to do any map moving around in the song, or uh, you want to loop a section, that's going to kind of break down a little bit, and you'll you'll discover that. But all right, hope this in, uh, video was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon in the future.